What's going on guys? So in this video, as you can see, I've got an original Xbox and basically we're going to be seeing what happens when you play the original Xbox in 2018. So as you probably know, this is the first Xbox that Microsoft came out with and it, I believe it came out in like 2000 or 2001. So that was like 17 or 18 years ago. So we're basically just going to be turning it on and you know looking at the features it has, the, the menu, some of the games and see what's different about it versus you know the newer consoles like the xbox one the ps4 nintendo switch all those sort of things and you know see how it's different so first of all let's just kind of take a look at the controller and as you can already see the controller is wired so you know you don't really see many controllers that are wired nowadays and this is just one of the, <laughs> the first things you can tell when you see a controller is wired you know it's probably old and there's actually two i actually have two different controllers so I think this is like the original like fat one like as you can see it's it just looks really fat um, <laughs> I don't really know how else to describe it but this one looks a little bit smaller and a little more ergonomical um, the Xbox always had some weird button places placement because I had these like white and black buttons down here and it's giant oh yeah if you anybody you guys know what this is for I think this is probably a memory card but I've never actually seen it used so I don't know let me know in the comments if you know this is for a memory card or something I'm not sure actually and uh, another thing you can see that's kind of cool is it's got four four slots for controllers uh, which is different with them from like the PS2 because if you know the PS2 it only had two slots for controllers and you had to buy like an extension if you wanted to play more than two players at a time which kind of sucked um, let me go I actually have my uh, the original box down here so let's go ahead and just like take a look at it and so way beyond ordinary entertainment so you can play games, movies, music, and more. All right, okay, cool. Play games, compete online. Oh yeah, so I forgot, this is like <laughs> the OG of Xbox Live. Nice, playing online now. Did, I, did you actually have to pay? I think you did have to pay for Xbox Live back in the original Xbox, that's kind of crazy. Oh, here it is in Spanish. I can't read Spanish, sorry, wish I could. Madden NFL 2005. Nice. So I just gotta show in some games and stuff. Let's put this back down. So, it's basically the first multi dimensional console. Oh, and as you may notice, it's actually pretty cool as the whole thing shows an X. But yeah. Let's go ahead and turn the console on. So, this bottom button is the on button. And there is the splash screen. I actually have the sound really low right now, so you can't really hear it. Well, you don't really need to hear it too much. Um, not much noise going on. And okay, so yeah, this this menu is actually, I'd say it's pretty advanced for its for its age. So this is like 2000, 2001. So it's got a pretty fancy looking menu, you know. Um, got some cool animations, kind of like a wheel spinning. So we got memory, music, Xbox Live, and settings. So kind of advanced. So memory. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, so you can, I forgot you could actually use the Xbox hard disk to save stuff. So on like other consoles like a PS2 you had to actually have memory cards and so this one does it in, what is that, 50,000 blocks. I have no idea what they use as a block, what a block is in terms of a unit, like an actual like kilobit, kilobyte or something. Um, these are not my saves. <laughs> I actually bought this console used like a year or so ago and Apparently whoever had this console played a lot of games. Yeah, because none of these saves are mine. Dang. Xbox Live accounts. Oh, he's even got an Xbox Live account on here. Nice. I'm going to leave it. I'm not deleting it. So that's pretty cool. You can save stuff on the hard disk. Discs, so you don't actually have to have a memory card like you did for the PS2 or GameCube. Uh, let's check out the music section. And like I said, some of these animations are actually pretty cool. So audio, CD play I don't see any CDs to play <laughs> copy oh can you actually copy CDs or copy tracks from the audio CD to a soundtrack dang that'd be pretty cool if you could actually copy from a CD to your Xbox that's pretty nice so Xbox Live <laughs> I'm assuming you can't actually play Xbox Live on here anymore I'm sure they like cut off the servers for the original Xbox so Black Belt TJ okay so I guess this is whoever had this console in the past 
his his Xbox Live account is Black Belt TJ. Cool, cool. Um, so yeah, we can't do too much with that. I actually think there. It's gonna be hard to see from this angle, but I think there is an Ethernet jack back here, so we could connect to the internet if we wanted to, or we could try to. Uh, let's check out the settings menu. Let's see what we got in here. So we got clock, language, pretty self-explanatory. Audio. What we got in the audio? Mono, stereo. Oh yeah, we want some Dolby surround sound for show. Uh, video. We got normal letterbox and widescreen. Let's just stick with widescreen. Network settings. Don't need to do that. Auto sign in. Parental control. Auto off. System info. What is auto off? So it'll automatically shut the console down after six hours of inactivity. Sure, let's turn that on in case I accidentally leave this thing on for a while. Um, so yeah, those are all the settings. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and like put in a game. See what's up with that. So I got Simpsons Road Rage. It's been a long time since I played this game, but it's pretty classic. So this big button right here, the one that lights up, is actually the eject button. So I, I always found that kind of weird that the bottom buttons, the little tiny thing is a power button, and the one up there that's always on is the the uh, eject button. So that, that's kind of I found that weird, but whatever. So it's actually like an actual disc tray, um, unlike the newer consoles that you know you just stick it in the slot and it uh, reels it in through its gears and stuff. So whenever it's loading, it flashes, kind of cool, and it boots up automatically. Nice. Okay close this disc real quick and yeah I have the sound down so that we don't have to so I don't get like copyright uh, get like hit with a copyright or something from playing some of this music that the Simpson game might play can we skip through please come on so here we are press start Simpsons Road Rage aha so whoever had this console before was also named Max so we got Black Belt TJ we got Max this dude had a lot of a lot of different names. Interesting. So Road Rage, Sunday Drive. Let's try Sunday Drive. Homer. <laughs> oh man, it's been a while since I played this game. So if you guys don't know what this game is, it's basically basically like GTA, but in Simpsons. You kind of just like you just zoom around in a car and run people over and. You basically basically act like a taxi, or in the the mode I'm doing right now, yeah, it's just a Sunday drive, so you can just drive around all you want and whatever. So I'm Homer right now. And yeah, you basically just like drive around and mess around. See, so look at that! I can just run people over. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it was a pretty fun game back in the day. Actually, it's still a pretty fun game. <laughs> but uh, let's get some other, some other things. So. We should go ahead and eject it and it automatically resets the console. That's nice. So let's put that over there. And I got a couple other things we need to try. So being an original Xbox, you would think it would play Xbox One games since, you know, original Xbox, Xbox One, they sound like they go hand in hand. So I'm going to go ahead and try out a Xbox One game and see what happens on the console. Because I feel like, I still don't know why Microsoft named their latest console the Xbox One. I feel like it should have been something different. I don't know. Because this, this one is, this is the Xbox One. I mean, come on. <laughs> what are you thinking, Microsoft? We'll just see if it does something. So whenever it's flashing, that means it's trying to do something. But nothing's happening. So if you listen, you probably can't hear it on the camera, but it's, it's making like a clicking noise and stuff. Come on. So disappointing. I'm gonna call it an Xbox One game, but it doesn't even work on the Xbox One. I mean, come on. So next we're gonna just check out a music CD. So I got Stadium Jams, which is pretty self-explanatory. It's just kind of songs you hear at a stadium, like a baseball or football game or something. Uh, let's just go ahead and I just wanna, you know, see what happens when you, or if we can see if we can make use of this actual music tab we see up here. So it's, I don't know if it'll automatically load. Okay, so it does. Automatically loads, and here's the tracks. So you can pause it. So that's pretty, it was pretty fast. And you can play any of these tracks. That's pretty cool. And it's got like a kind of cool animation over here. That's pretty cool while it's playing. Now, I kind of want to try out this copy feature. <laughs> can we actually copy tracks from here? So track one, select. 
copy? Um, sure. Soundtrack one. Dang. That's kind of cool. So you can actually copy, copy soundtracks. I guess it's copying it to the internal hard drive. I'm, I'm not really sure, honestly. I mean, I don't know where else it would copy actually. So I'm pretty sure it's copying to the internal hard drive. So that looks like it's gonna take a while to copy. So while we're doing that, let's go ahead and look at some other things. So uh, yeah, I apologize. This thing is <laughs> kind of dusty. I should have should have dusted it off before we started this video, but it's whatever. So we got a music CD. Let's put that away while it finishes copying. Um, actually, I'll just come back once it finishes copying. All right, so I finished copying. Um, <laughs> I just kind of went back to here. I'm not sure where it, where the copied soundtrack went, but whatever. Oh, there it goes. It just copies it there. Soundtrack. There it is. That's kind of cool. Let's move on. So we try the sound or music. Music works, and you can actually copy s songs. So that's that's actually a pretty neat feature. It's not any good nowadays since you got iPods and music wherever you want it. But you know, it would have been cool back back when this console came out. So Superman Returns, that's just a DVD, and so I'm pretty sure DVDs work on here, but we're just going to test it out. We're just going to test it out. So there it goes, loading up Xbox, and it's, uh, you need to connect the DVD playback kit receiver. What? Are you serious? You needed a DVD playback kit receiver to a controller port to watch movies? Wow. Alright, that's actually pretty disappointing. I thought, I honestly was like 99% sure it was going to work, but I guess not. Wow, I just, that's disappointing me. That's, that's the one thing so far today out of this, testing out this Xbox that disappointed me. So, you know, all the consoles in 2018, they can play DVDs, uh, Blu-rays. Actually, some of them can't play music CDs, so that's, that's good on you. But, you know, competing with the consoles nowadays is pretty tough, so this thing, paired up pretty well for being 17 years old all right guys so thanks for watching make sure to leave a like and a comment down below and let me know if you have an xbox or if you'd rather play this xbox over some of the newer consoles you know just let me know down in the comments and thanks for watching hope you guys have a great day